Hey everyone, it's Tea Time with Tea. Tea here again. I know it's been a while since I made a video and I kind of wanted to fill you in on what's been going on. Um, I look a little rough right now. Sorry about the sound. That's Kiki. She's super excited about something. But anyway, I just got out of the shower and I'm out here letting my hair air dry. And I thought, you know, it's a beautiful day. And I'm feeling better, so I might as well, you know, make a video. I've been suffering from depression for a long time. I mean, 99% of my life. And it's been really rough lately for some reason. Um, there's not been a whole lot of, you know, actual things that should have made it worse. But it just seemed to be a little rougher time for me. And, you know, as you can see, I'm overweight. And I've been overweight my whole life, but I'm gonna tell you some things that most overweight women or anybody in general really don't disclose. Um, when you're overweight and somebody, you know, tells you or asks you, you know, should you really eat that? That just pisses you off and depresses you and makes you want to eat that much more. Especially if you're an emotional eater, which I was. And still, whatever. Um, my mother did that to me and it just made me want to eat more and more. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I topped the scales at like 340 pounds. And... I was getting to the point where I couldn't find clothes off the rack to buy and I just decided enough was enough I was tired of food controlling me I'm a big foodie I love to cook I love to bake I don't really like to eat a lot of the sweets or whatever I'm more of a you know savory uh, southern food shove in your mouth kind of person um, I rarely eat dessert ever and I rarely eat anything sweet um, but I don't know it got to the point where I wanted something this sweet every day and I wouldn't stop with just a little something and diabetes heart problems all of that runs in my family um, I happen to be extremely healthy to be overweight I do not have high blood pressure I do not have high cholesterol I'm not diabetic um, I don't have heart problems and you know I've not suffered a stroke from weighing 340 pounds but anyway so about a year ago year and a half ago I was like I can't do this anymore I can't find clothes this is just ridiculous so I started eating smaller portions but more frequently Instead of eating just one huge meal or two huge meals a day, I would eat, you know, anywhere from three at the minimum, but generally five meals a day. But I was eating, you know, this size portion instead of, you know, a whole dinner plate size portion. And I started losing some weight and I did it slowly and my energy got better and um, I just felt better. And I weighed two days ago. I meant to make this two days ago, but everything's just been so crazy. Um, I weighed two days ago, and I will tell you what I weighed. Because at 340 pounds, a home bathroom scale will not weigh you. I had to go get on the big boy scale at the hospital to get weighed. Um, but I weighed on a home bathroom scale and it was 259.5 pounds and I told somebody the other day I was like I weigh 260 and they're like really and I have not been this weight since before my son was born and he will be 21 this year and I am just doing it slowly I have learned finally something has clicked I've learned to eat when I'm hungry but eat small portions and then just even if I want more stop wait at least 20 30 minutes I drink water 
and coffee, I cut myself down to one Diet Coke a day. I can't get rid of them completely, but I have to have my one Diet Coke a day. Um, but I'm able to do more and I'm in between sizes and clothing, so it's frustrating. The stuff I was wearing is like way too big, like this shirt here. It is, it was tight on me and now it is just falling off. I have to wear a tank top underneath it, but I still wear it because it's comfortable and I like it. It's thin and it's like almost 80 degrees here today. But even being depressed and really emotional these last few weeks and everything I've not turned to food this is the whole reason I'm telling you all this I've not turned to food like I used to used to if I was depressed pissed off you know happy whatever I was cramming food in my mouth I've not done that and I don't know what has changed I mean because I've been pretty miserable on the mental health scale in the last few months and I got a roof over my head you know food on the table um, clothes covering my ass I I don't know what's wrong and sometimes you don't know what's wrong but I've not turned to my normal crutch and I was really proud of myself and I just want to let you know no matter what you're struggling with you can get through it and I turned to Kiki, my bestest friend, and I talked to her, and she talks me out of the dark places, and, you know, I do the same for her. If you don't have that someone, you know, talk to a professional, talk to, you know, your religious leader, or, you know, find someone to talk to, because... Everybody needs that outlet, that vent. And no matter what you're going through, you can get through it. It's not going to happen overnight. It takes time. So I just want to, you know, encourage everybody. Sorry, the dog sneezed. Um, encourage everybody, you know, just keep keep on keeping on. Because, you know, it's life's too precious to give up on it. And you're wonderful and awesome. And you deserve to be happy. And if you're not, it's okay. But work on it. You know, don't just, you know, wallow in it. It's like, you know, depression and misery. Yeah, it's okay to feel those things. But I try not to unpack and live there. Um, I fight it every day. Some days are better than others. But this last week has been amazing. And I'm finally at the point where I have more positive things to say because everything I was thinking and saying was negative and I didn't want to share that with y'all because there's enough negative shit in the world that you didn't need my bullshit on top of it so thank you for you know hanging around and sticking with me and I love y'all and you know give us a thumbs up and like us on Facebook and share the video with your friends because everybody knows someone that needs that little bit of encouraging that you know you can get through it this will pass it takes work it's not going to be overnight and instantaneously because if that happens it's not real generally it's you know a facade and it's okay to feel whatever you're feeling because every feeling you feel is important. Because you're important. And, you know, subscribe if you haven't. But please remember, be good to others. But especially, be good to you. See you next time.